In this lesson, we want to explain all type of light with their sitting in the software. We go into the light section. There are all kind of lights ready for us here, and we can use them. We start with the omnidirectional light and insert it to the scene. Okay, like other objects, we can move these lights in the scene anywhere that we want. In its settings, in a light, you can turn the light on or off. In a more, you can add IS light that don't need now because we have lots of IS lights in library. In intensity, we can go back. In intensity section, you can control the light intensity. As you can see, the unit is lumen. LM. In a more, you can control the amount of the light reflection in other material. And then the dust to down mode is active. The light is off during the day. Change it. And turn it on again at the night. Okay. Going back to the sitting here. In a color, you can change the cold or warm color of the light according to Kelvin. As we can see, it's blue and green, red, between blue and red. But in a more, you can give any color that you want to light. Okay. Back to sitting. In attenuation, you can control the brightness spherical area of the light in a meters. Okay, as you can see, this is a spherical area. In a shadow, you can enable or disable shadow that light casts. For explain these two volumetric shadows and haze, note this scene that I prepared. There is a door with a light shining behind it. This light. I activate the light. First, we activate the shadow, as you can see. Now, we activate haze. As you can see, a fog was added to the light. In the heights, sitting and more, you can change its settings. In the intensity, you can increase or decrease, or decrease or its amount of this haze. Okay. In the speed, you can change the speed of movement of this haze in the air. You know, tiling the amount of the haze particle, how large or smaller. As you can see, you can see the particles here. Well, back to the sitting and in a shadow, in a more, turn on volumetric shadow option. Pay attention to this shadow line behind the door, behind the wall. Now the fog is in the shadow line and it becomes more realistic. As you can see. Okay. The next light is spotlight. You click and drag it here. Bring it up. As you can see, you can rotate it with the rotation tool in any direction that you want. Its settings are exactly the same as before, only the angle option has been added to control the angle of this, this spotlight. Okay, the next light is area light. We're going outside of this room and add area light here which you use to 
illuminate an area. This is an, like a surface light. In the height and width, you can change its dimension. And that is, I think, a very useful light for lighting a big area. The next lights are RES lights. This RES light, you can use them anywhere. There are a variety of form in a library that you can use. Click and drag to use the light better. It's better to reduce its intensity, but you can move them, rotate them anywhere that you want. You can see all kind of forms. They are very simple and beautiful. Just use them and enjoy. The IES are mm, something like engineering lighting. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.